Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever the case may be. Welcome to This Week in Random. This is Blacklist Universe. I am your host, Mike S. Miller, and you are here to hear me talk about things in our pop culture, comic book related stuff, movies, TV, blah, 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 blah. Joker from Deadline.com. Joker is wild. Joker, Joker, Joker. Does anybody remember that show? It's from the 80s. No, Joker's wild. Joker's wild on tracking. See, Joker is wild. Anyways, on tracking with 82 to 90 million dollar projected opening early box office official read. Uh, not a terribly popular article, but I, I'm i interested in the Joker because, as you can see, Joker. So whether or not this gets a lot of views, I was interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed about the clickbait. I probably should be, but Todd Phillips, R-rated DC villain movie Joker. I know there's some people saying, "Dude, you don't don't make it rated R. You're gonna lose all the thing." But it's the Joker. It is a movie about a psychotic serial killer. This is gotta go after the audience for seven for Silence of the Lambs. You know. This is not, or this should not be targeted towards the comic book Batman audience. And so a rated R, it is what it is. That's what it should be. It should have very dark themes. He's going down a spiraling hole of psychosis into becoming a murderer and a psychopath. So, yeah, can we not let children in to see this, please? Thank you, rated R. Good. Uh, tracking Thursday with an indexed first choice among all audiences in the low 20s among moviegoers that expect that exceeded a mix of both superhero movies and R-rated fare, including Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, both of those terrible films, It, It Chapter 2, haven't seen it yet, Logan, uh, Venom, Halloween, Us, John Wick, Chapter 3, and more. That's a huge number and speaks to Warner Brothers' cool hip positioning of this very dark take on the most notorious villain in the Batman canon. Hip positioning. I don't... Cool hip position. I don't know. It just seems like... I mean, it does look cool, but it just seems like a dark, gritty tale of woe and descent. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they'll... I might be being a little persnickety about the language but uh, plus the great critical momentum that joker has accumulated coming out of the fall film festival season ahead of its october 4th opening it has won the golden lion at the venice film festival i have another whole video about that and how irritated i was <sighs> but you can go check that out uh should be in the same playlist notched a 78 percent fresh rotten tomatoes score but Honestly, Rotten Tomatoes, who cares? You are a bunch of shills and crackheads. Nobody cares what you think. I don't think it should even be mentioned. I, it, they've lost all their credibility on all the other films. Rotten Tomatoes, just go away. You have become a Rotten Tomato. <laughs> Piss off. And Joaquin Phoenix has solidified himself as the best leading, best actor, contender this awards season. I mean, personally, I don't care. I don't care. All of the awards are jokes. Well, most significantly, the Oscars. I gave up on the Oscars years ago. Years ago. Remember the hat trick? Remember the hat trick? They wanted to give black actors Oscars. So they gave Halle Berry an Oscar for Monster. That was a terrible role. I hated that movie. And, I mean, I love Halle Berry. But she's not that great of an actress. Um, they gave... They wanted to give Sydney, say, gave Sydney Poitier a Lifetime Achievement Award, I believe. And, I mean, God bless him. Yeah, he absolutely deserved that. But they gave Denzel Washington an Oscar for Man on Fire. Which... And I absolutely adore Denzel Washington. He has been in so many better films with such better roles 
they only gave it to him because they were trying to do some political grandstand. Oh, look at all the black people that got awards this year. Denzel Washington should have gotten 10 Oscars by then. <laughs> and they they just did it. And on, on honestly, one of the films of his that I like the least out of everything he's ever done. And they gave it to him then because they were trying to do some political chicanery. And I just lost all all respect for the Oscars that year and I have not paid any attention to them ever since except well except for the fact that I hear about the crap they do and it just reinforces this opinion to me Oscars Science Academy whatever you guys are shills why don't you go with Rotten Tomatoes get in the Thelma and Louise car and just drive off a cliff please thank you goodbye um, ba, 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 ba. Keep in mind, Joker is a very different R-rated comic book film and film, and Phillips and Phoenix portray the subject matter in such a realistic way, it's easy for a moviegoer to forget it's a Batman movie. It is not a Batman movie! While watching it. We had heard earlier this week from those close to Joker that an opening in the 65 to $80 million range is more than expectation, is more the expectation, and that just might be the case once fanboys walk away from this film. Logan was a western and Dirty Harry-like movie. Joker is a journey inside a madman's distorted mind and his skewed view on the world around him with echoes of Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver and King of Comedy. Pick is set against the Ronald Reagan 1980s era, which was awesome, uh, when social services were shut down, sending those suffering mental challenges into the streets. Um, I... This is true. This happened, and this is a problem. But I hate that they tie this to Ronald Reagan when this was the Democrats do who did that. So, always focusing the bad things. Um, yeah, it was the Democrats. So change it. So change it. Can we please just put the crazies back in jail? Uh, not in jail. Put put them back in in social services. Padded rooms. Take care of them. Three three meals a day. Whatever. Charge the city. I don't care. Just get the crazies off the streets. They're pooping all over the sidewalk. Again, the lofty projection for Joker speaks to Warner's ability to excite moviegoers this past weekend. If you were sitting in a showing of It Chapter 2, it wasn't unusual to hear positive buzz in the auditorium after the Joker trailer played. Because it looks great! I cannot wait to see this film. I haven't even seen It Chapter 2. I haven't heard any good things about it. Uh, so, I mean, I could have gone and done a review, but it's three hours long. Ugh. If I had heard nothing but good buzz about it, I was like, okay, three hours, I'll go invest three hours. But no good buzz, three hours long, I just passed on it. Sorry, no review from me. In recent boss, boss, in recent box office history, many like to give credit to Fox's Deadpool and Logan for upping comic book fare to an R-rated level. However, before those picks, Warner released DC's Watchmen in 2009, Dark Horse, Dark Horse is 300 in 2007 with R ratings that opened well to 55 and 70 million dollars respectively. Gosh, they they forgot all about barbed wire. Don't don't google it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, forget it. Going way back among adult rated comic book big screen fair, there was Fritz the Cat, which was rated X, and Heavy Metal in 1981, but those were cult picks, not built for the masses. The top openings for R-rated picks based on comic books are Deadpool, Deadpool 2, Logan, 300, and Watchmen. Um, what about... There are other comic book based movies that did very well. Road to Perdition? Um, I'm trying to think... There are others, but they're not superhero-based comics, right? And so they're trying to qualify this. They're only talking about superhero-based comics, and they're correlating the Joker to this. The Joker, I think, should be in a category. I know it's from the superhero world of DC Comics, but I really do think that they should focus it um, less on that as the ideal. This should not be considered or, or, or focused on as a superhero-based comic book. Joker has no superpowers. He's just a psycho who gets under Batman's skin and wears clown makeup. So, this being an origin story that takes place almost exclusively outside of the whole of the Batman mythos. I know Bruce Wayne does make a a cameo 
as a kid and I think Thomas Wayne is part of the story but they're all just playing regular people so can we stop focusing on the superhero aspect focus on the fact that this is going to be a fantastic thriller of the descent of man and then perhaps perhaps uh, we can get a fair um, a, a fair uh, assessment of what this will be at any rate uh, if like subscribe share if you if you think I'm right you think I'm wrong mention it in the comments below and I'll be ha happy to respond for this week in random this is Mike Miller you are on blacklist universe I will see you next time